This week, 10 on your side has been giving you an exclusive look on board the USS Gerald R. Ford. Yeah, we got the opportunity to fly out to the carrier, which is testing the waters in the Atlantic. One of the priciest and most frustrating pieces of equipment during the building process for the Ford has been the launch system for the jets. It was dealt with a myriad of issues during testing, and only on 10, our Haley Mylon got a look at whether it's working now. The USS Gerald R. Ford aircraft carrier, the first of its class, is pioneering several different military technologies. Now, one of the most notable ones is this track right here. This is the EMOL system, the electromagnetic aircraft launch system. It replaces older systems that previously used steam to propel aircraft down the runway. I bet my life on it. Readying the Ford for its maiden deployment, it's commanding officer, Captain Paul Lanzalota a career pilot putting all his trust in the new launch gear. I strapped myself into that airplane. I put my life on the line and the quality and the, and the assurity of the of the launch that you get from an EMOLS uh, catapult and it works great. In theory, the EMOLS blows steam out of the water. More gradual acceleration down the track, reducing wear and tear on aircraft, a smaller footprint on the ship, and a purported 30% improvement in aircraft launch and recovery efficiency. But according to a December 2022 Congressional Research Service report, the system falls dismally short of its reliability requirement. The Navy says there isn't yet data to compare EMOLs to steam. Pilots like Lieutenant Lee Watkins say the air wing is simply figuring out a new technology, something the Nimitz class carriers perfected over decades. And the Ford class, we're still working towards getting uh, to that Nimitz class standard. Over the coming weeks, the crew will be working to iron out the kinks during the composite training unit exercises, the strike group's final test before it's deployable worldwide. We're going to get a bunch of reps and sets doing that. Watkins says his job in the cockpit doesn't change. It just has a different feel. It pulls you back a little harder. And then the catapult acceleration profile is slightly different. Other than the way it feels, the procedures, you know, what we actually do in the cockpit remains the same. But shooters like Lieutenant Ion Loomis are choreographing launch and recovery sequences on the deck to speed things up. I mean, we've been doing things by the book. So now we're just figuring out where the system allows us to to make it a little quicker. Over three years, Loomis has seen how far the crew and the system have come. So we're getting faster and faster as time goes on. After this certification, the strike group will be set to deploy. That deployment date has not yet been announced. Aboard the USS Gerald R. Ford aircraft carrier, I'm Haley Mylon, 10 on your side.